guys, welcome back to Bumblebee. I'm Taylor McWatters. Ooh, and I'm Green Room. And that's it. And See that's ya. it. That's our video. <laughs> Bye. Okay. Today we'll be taking a look at the top 10 extinct civilizations you never knew existed. And even though you may have heard of them, there's still some things, some wild facts that you may have missed the first time you read about them. Google does not tell you everything, but we're here to save you the trouble of Googling it yourself. And tell you most things. Woo! Here are the top 10 extinct civilizations that you never heard of. Let's get into it. Let's do it. Woo! Coming in at number 10, Nineveh. The Nineveh civilization was one of the oldest and most impressive civilizations of the ancient world. Located in what is now modern day Mosul in Iraq. This civilization thrived mostly under the rule of King Sennacherib from 704 BC to 681 BC. Under his leadership, Nineveh was made the capital of the Assyrian Empire. Their kingdom was massive and had a lot of impressive infrastructure like a 15 gate wall around the city as well as parks, aqueducts, canals and an 80 room palace. This place was so extravagant that some scholars today believe that the famous hanging gardens of Babylon were actually located in Nineveh and were commissioned by King Sennacherib. Other than their infrastructure, their culture was also incredibly impressive as well. Nineveh was known as a center for the development of arts, sciences and architecture and scribes and scholars from elsewhere would flock to Nineveh to further their studies. They had a library that contained over 30,000 inscribed clay tablets and one of those tablets included a story of a great flood that drowned the world except for one man who survived by building a boat and searching for dry land. Does that story sound familiar? It might since it's an early version of the story of Noah's Ark. This version of the story though was inscribed a thousand years before it ever reached Hebrew text. Now even though this was a large and powerful civilization, all good things must come to an end and they met their end after a royal feud led to the breakup and this led to the joint forces of Persians, Babylonians and others in the area to burning Nineveh to the ground. Number 9. The Mesopotamian Civilization Next up we have the first civilization ever recorded in history. Their origins date back to as early as 500 BC in what's now Iraq, Syria and Turkey. Mesopotamia is a staple in history. It's actually the first society that developed agriculture and its name translates to between rivers or land between rivers. It was a perfect spot to domesticate animals for farming and for food. The oldest wheel ever was found in southern Mesopotamian city of Ur. They invented the wheel, cursive writing and something even more important than all they invented beer. The oldest recipe for beer comes from Mesopotamia. Wheels, poems, beer, this sounds like the world's oldest and dare I say it, best party. Of course, aliens also come into play too when looking back at Mesopotamian culture. They had an advanced understanding of the cosmos using astronomical instruments. Now one of these instruments was this Venus tablet of Amma Sadaka, which could predict these astronomical events. Maybe our earliest civilization made contact and now they're just trying to reach out. Can you get ghosted over a tablet? Probably. At number 8, Vinca. We're throwing it all the way back to the Neolithic period because we're talking about the Vinca civilization. Vinca is known as the oldest Neolithic civilization in Europe. These guys were establishing their own civilization in the Stone Age long before civilizations like Egypt and Mesopotamia. Though we don't know all that much about them, we do know that they had one of the earliest writing systems in the world. Researchers have discovered around 700 characters that are believed to have been their way of forming written sentences, though this is all just a theory for now since these characters have yet to be translated. The archaeological evidence that has been found from the Vinca civilization suggests that this group of people thrived in the area along the banks of the Danube River for more than a thousand years before being abandoned. No one really knows why the Vinca civilization abandoned the area or where they went, but maybe one day we will get those answers. Number 7. The Mayans it's 2021, which means the world thankfully didn't end in 2012. But that movie was good. Kind of, not really. But the Mayan calendar did predict that on December 21st, 2012, this would be the end of us. No meteors hit and Thanos didn't snap away any of us, but that date did mark the end of their 5,125 year long count calendar. Yeah, and you thought you were a planner. These guys were crazy. One of the earliest uses of the number zero being in mathematics came from the Mayans. They were super advanced for their time, and they were also quite artistic. They drew complex hieroglyphs on long strips of paper made from fig tree bark. I can't write four sentences down on paper without my wrist hurting. I have to like slap it around for a minute. These guys are on a whole new level. These stories date all the way back to the late pre-classic period, so around 300 BCE. That is so old. The Olmecs of Mesoamerica figured out how to consume chocolate, sure, but like the art that we see etched into the stone walls around them, the Mayans made it beautiful. The Mayans would mix chocolate with water and chili peppers and honey. They would make it as a spicy drink. 
I'm gonna stick with the old pumpkin spice for now. I think that's the riskiest I'll go. Thanks so much though. Dab it. At number six, Mehergar. Even though Mehergar was a pretty impressive civilization, no one really knows about it because very little interest was invested in learning more about it. Mehergar was one of the oldest civilizations in the world, situated in what is now modern day Pakistan. Excavations of the site started back in the 1970s, but due to the government's lack of interest, looting, and land erosion, it made it hard to learn much about this ancient settlement. From evidence that has been gathered, we do know that Mehergar had a population of around 25,000 people, and based on some of the remains recovered from this ancient civilization, there was evidence of dental surgery, which as you can imagine, isn't really something you see very often, especially at the time that this civilization existed. Other than that, many of the other secrets of the civilization are buried very deep in the earth, so it makes it much harder for researchers to uncover them. What has been found though are some pretty well preserved buildings made from brick, and even a formal cemetery. Who knows what else we might learn from this site. Number 5. Rapa Nui also referred to as the Easter Islanders, the Rapa Nui is known most famously for their Easter Island heads, the Moai, that still to this day reach up to 13 feet tall and weigh over 80 tons. Massive achievements. Now how did they build these things and also how did they move them around? Well there's of course a crazy alien theory and it's my favorite theory of all. The indigenous Rapa Nui claim that these statues once roamed the land like night at the museum but with, you know, less bubblegum and fun. There were once thousands of these sculptures but during the 1700s, civil wars was resulted in the Rapa Nui tearing them all apart. It was already an impressive feat building the Moai, but in 1914, archaeologists discovered they also had bodies beneath them. Just like us YouTubers, you never know underneath here. We could be seven feet tall or we could be five feet tall, you really don't know. Look at this, you have no idea. The theory that all these statues would move around seems a little bit more plausible now that we know that. At number four, Nubia. The ancient civilization of Nubia was almost like ancient Egypt adjacent until it wasn't. Nubia was located south of Egypt in Sudan, and at one point they even ruled Egypt. Nubia even had their own pyramids, and over 200 of them still remain today. The period that the Nubians ruled over Egypt was known as Egypt's 25th dynasty, or the Black Dynasty, because of the dark skin of the Nubian pharaohs, and this time was known for its stability and prosperity, with a lot of their emphasis being on arts and culture of the people. This civilization had their own written language and rich culture, and they were also very wealthy as they were situated on a literal gold. Gold mine. They continued to thrive until an Egyptian pharaoh raided Nubia and turned it into a mineral extraction outpost. Rather than Nubia rule over Egypt, the tables turned and the roles were reversed, making Nubia an underling of Egypt. Eventually, the Nubian people just assimilated into the Egyptian population and Nubia just died off over time. Number three, the Incas. Their city is currently a wonder of the modern world. Machu Picchu was built over 500 years ago. It was once known as the lost city of the Inca, and it's absolutely beautiful. It was first discovered in 1911 by archaeologist Hiram Bingham when he and a small team were originally heading out to find the ancient city of Vilcabamba, but instead they found this landmark. The stones used to build the city were even heavier than they already look. We look at Stonehenge in disbelief right now, wondering how humans were able to lift those rocks. But look at this place. These stones each weighed over 50 tons, and with Machu Picchu literally translating to Old Mountain, those hills certainly don't look easy to climb. I complain about doing two trips carrying groceries. My back hurts just looking at this thing. The Inca were impressive builders. The city is designed perfectly. I mean, evidently. After 500 years of earthquakes and horrible weather, it's wild that the city is still in the shape that it's in. Elongated skulls were also found on the site by archaeologists, and many believe that it's aliens thanks to pop culture, but elongated skulls were actually a sign of royalty in the Incas. It's no surprise Machu Picchu is the most visited place in Peru. You just might want to take your trail shoes when you head over there. At number two, Norte Chico Civilization. The story of the Norte Chico Civilization is fascinating, yet also shrouded in mystery. Overall, very little is known about the Norte Chico Civilization, but it is believed that this pre-Columbian society is one of the oldest known civilization in the Americas. Researchers know more about this civilization's infrastructure than the way that the people lived. We know that they had huge buildings like pyramids and complex irrigation systems, but what makes this so bizarre is the fact that there's no evidence of any pottery in the civilization which suggests that they don't know how to use it. How are you going to build a whole pyramid but struggle to make a pot? I don't get it. There is also evidence that these people worship some kind of deity, but again, no one knows what form this deity took. 
Now here's where the mystery really comes in. No one knows what happened to the Norte Chico civilization. The settlements were abandoned sometime around 1800 BC, but no one really knows why. There's no evidence of any kind of warfare and there were no natural disasters to cause them to flee their homes. The people just kind of disappeared and no one has been able to piece together the puzzle, so we may never know. And coming in at number one, the Greek civilization. The Antikythera mechanism is the world's oldest analog computer. It would keep track of the cosmos and to this day we're trying to figure out the exact purpose of it or how it was built. But what we do know is that one of those dials in there was meant to keep track of the Olympics. That's how important this event was. Thanks to the ancient Greeks, now we get to see dudes hucking shot puts at people. It's great. The ancient Greek civilization thrived in Greece around 500 BC to 2700 BC. The rich history of ancient Greeks spans such a long time that we've divided their time into periods, like the Archaic, Hellenistic, and Classical period. Their wine was so good that they had a wine god in the pantheon. God Dionysus. What an OG. It was deemed a hubris for Greeks to get intoxicated so they would also add water to their wine. That way they could keep the party going all night, of course, but actually it was done so nobody became violent. Only God Dionysus would drink wine straight out. That's pretty, pretty hardcore. If inventing the Olympics wasn't badass enough, they also used stones instead of toilet paper. So I'll let you imagine that in your head. We'll leave on that note. That's a nice pretty image to finish on. Guys, thank you so much for tuning in. Those were just 10 extinct civilizations that you've never heard of. But before you go, leave a comment or two or three or four telling us which of these civilizations sounded the most intense. Yeah, I'll be honest, the whole wiping with rock things, I haven't really gotten over that. Yeah, no, I think I'm a little scarred for life. <laughs> I think I'd rather use poison ivy at that point. We'll see. Anything is better. Yeah. Literally anything is better. Just, um, just, just, just leave it. Just, just leave walk it. away. Just literally, <laughs> eh, I'm fine. I don't need it. I'll just put my jeans on and go on with life. That's a weird note to finish on, but we're going to do it. Anyways, I've been your host, B Room. And I'm Taylor McWaters. And we will see you guys next time. Stay sweet, bumblebees. Peace. I was like, I just got thrown over sea. <laughs> over sea? Sea curls, I think it was so wet and salty and dry at the same time. My cats. Uh, da -da -da. let's just dive right in. What is it called? Top 10. Uh, you want to be like, here are the top 10 civilizations you didn't know about. Boom. Kicking off the list at number 10. Who's on number 10? Who, who got it? I'm number 10. You got it? Yeah. Aw, oh, man, I should have looked up how to pronounce these words first. Woo. You got it. You got it. Fly and proud. N okay. N Nineveh. Eh, Nineveh. Okay. I'm going to say it like that. I don't know. The Nineveh. Mm. Located in what is now known. No. Oh. Located in what is now modern day mo oh, One dude survived the flood, he's like, I got water wings. <laughs> I got <laughs> by me. Yeah, probably. Most likely. So it's like red at 1700 BC. <laughs> no one really knows why the Vinca civilization a barren. <laughs> I can't write four sentences down without my wrist being all painful. I have to do this for like a minute afterwards. They're just on a whole new level. They would just draw for so long. They're so, what am I even saying here? Their wine was so good that they had the god of it. But before, before we go, before you go. Uh, before, before you go.